Conrad Chicago is our Chicago home this week, thanks to this lovely young lady, Christine. What a great property. It's a beautiful property. The building was actually built in 1928-29, and it was the McGraw-Hill building. Great bar right over there. Too. Absolutely. Rendezvous Bar and Grill is a fabulous place for our guests and for local travelers. There's something in their rooms that is very unique, and it blew me away when I saw it. I think we should show our viewers. All right, let's go. They have an actual pillow menu. There's one, two, three, four, five, six different types of pillows depending on your needs. I had was a little nasally last night, so I chose the cold and flu menu. Clear congestion and breathe easier. Eucalyptus, tea tree scents. So all the Conrads have a, have a different pillow menu that's specific to their region and their area, and it's been very successful. Talk about the rooms. The room we're in here is a little bit different than the room that we're staying in, the room that we're going to go to. This is the junior suite, um, so it's a little bit larger. You have a sitting area, you have the bedroom area, and then um, a, a bathroom with a deep soaking tub as well as an enclosed shower. Now you've got some larger suites as well. We have an executive suite and that's about 800 square feet and that has a, a larger sitting area. The Grand Terrace Suite has a thousand foot square foot outdoor terrace overlooking the Mag Mile. And we've done some social events out there as well as small weddings. Um, and it's just a great place to entertain if you're coming here for the weekend. I just want to offer my sincere condolences that you have to look at this view every day when you come to work. It's absolutely terrible. I love the Chicago skyline. It's beautiful and we're right on the Mag Mile so you get a good eye full of everything that the city has to offer in a small space close to the hotel. Now you have a restaurant here at the hotel called The Restaurant. Yeah. Chef Doggett is our executive chef there and I think in fact he's um, shopping at the French Market right now to pick up some goodies. I think I should go join him. I think you should. You probably need some help. I think so. Hi, John. How you doing today? Hey, John. John Olson. Pleasure to meet Pleasure you. Pleasure to meet you, too. So what are we doing here? Uh, we're picking up some produce for uh, stuff we're going to be working on later. The local fresh produce and the organic stuff is the way to go. Let's grab a couple of those heirlooms here. Uh, get some beautiful rainbow shard there. That looks so fresh. Yeah, everything's great. Some nice herbs. And one of the things that they got here is the tall grass uh, natural fed beef. God, those ribeyes look amazing. That's actually what we're picking up for the uh, Lomo Saltado. So what the Lomo Saltado is, it's a very traditional Peruvian dish, which generally means just ribeye saute. So it's beef saute. Pastoral cheese, they focus on Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan, all the different cheeses you see around here. It's just one big cooperative here, like everybody helping everybody out, supporting the local farmers. Yeah, it, it's it. fantastic. It's a, it's a really nice uh, area to come shopping. So we've got everything we need for your ingredients, right? Yeah. We're all set to go, so uh, let's head back to the hotel and we'll make some food. The market was fun. Yes. Now what do we do with all this stuff? We're going to be showing you uh, one of the dishes that's on our spring menu. So what we have here is the ribeye we got at the market, that nice, beautiful marbled ribeye. Uh, married in a little bit of black pepper, some garlic, and some soy sauce. We're going to take a nice hot saute pan. That's cooking up fast. Add a puree of the Peruvian yellow pepper called uh, aji amarillo. We're going to add some of that nice Vidalia onion we got. Just give this a quick saute here. And then some dark stout. One for the pan, one, one for the man. Pan. So when we serve it to our guests on the terrace this summer, it's going to come like this. You're going to pull it off to the side, you're going to get your rice and your saltado, and there you go. That is very cool, very impressive.